Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom and Walt Disney World just announced that they are closing down all of their parks and Disney Springs effective tonight because of Hurricane Ian. So I figured we'd come on out, ride some rides, see what it's like pre-hurricane in the parks, check out all of the different wait times and crowd levels, and just have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. Today is September 27th, and like I said, Disney has announced that they're closing down the park September 28th and the 29th. So it's going to be really uh, fun to see what the crowds are going to be like today. The park does close at 6 because there's a Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. But as you can see from the clouds up there, it doesn't look too bad, but that can change real quick. The hurricane is supposed to be here probably tomorrow morning. It's actually 4.44, so we only have an hour and 20 minutes in the park because, like I said, it closes at 6 o'clock because there's a party tonight. So it's going to be interesting to see what we can get done in just an hour and 20 minutes. But I'm just happy. I was planning on coming tomorrow to see what it's like. But Disney's being very cautious when it comes to this hurricane. They said it could be a Category 3 or 4, so who knows? I hope everyone is taking the proper precautions and everyone stays safe and healthy. And, uh, yeah, we're going to just see how it goes for tonight. A lot of people will tell you they love coming out to the parks pre-hurricane because the wait times usually are really low. And if you take a look here, Space Mountain is a 25 minute wait. Tomorrowland Speedway, 15 minutes. People Mover, five minutes. This looks pretty interesting. Oh, Haunted Mansion is 40 minutes though. And then Pirates is 20 minutes. Big Thunder Mountain is 40. Splash is 50, so not too bad. This isn't my first time actually going through a hurricane here at Walt Disney World. In fact, I've been living down in Florida for many of years and I've been through a lot of hurricanes. And one thing I've noticed, Disney is very accommodating for people that want to travel from the coast inwards and they do special hurricane rates on some of their rooms. They do sometimes reduce the price on some of the dining experiences. And it's really cool just to be able to be here. You feel a lot of people literally travel from like Tampa and stuff like that and they come into the center, they come to Disney like to actually get away from the storm. And uh, I just hope everyone is prepared, you know? One of the things I love best right now is definitely the cool weather that we have. There's a little breeze in the air. It's not too humid out. And it's been a while since I got to experience this. So I think we're gonna do some of the rides that are outdoors, you know? Maybe some People Mover or Big Thunder Mountain. They all seem like they had a low wait time, so we'll go explore. I did bring my trusty umbrella with me today just in case it rains and there's probably like a 99% chance that it's going to rain and also I'm wearing my Crocs so that way I don't have to walk around with some wet shoes because no one likes wet shoes, no one's got time for wet shoes. This is something brand new that I have never seen before. Look at this. It's a Cinderella Castle Mural of Memories. 50 or 5G zones powered by AT&T 5G. Picture yourself here. Place your Disney Photo Pass photo on Cinderella Castle. Scan the QR code to get started. Look at that. I wonder if you just stand right there. Is that like a, a drainage cap or is that a place to stand? I don't know. But this is really nifty. I'm going to see what it does. I don't know. Let's see if we just scan like this. Bada bing. I don't know what it does though. I can't figure out how that works, but hopefully someone will let me know in the comments or I'll come back and try it. Like I said, I only got an hour to go, so on to Big Thunder Mountain. I'm definitely thinking maybe we should get something to eat too. I'm not too sure what I want to get to eat. Maybe something from Sleepy Hollow, or we'll check to see what reservations they have. Why is this guy in the bushes? Maybe he lost something. Oh, there it is, Big Thunder Mountain. It says it's a 30 minute wait, but honestly, I don't think it is a 30 minute wait because I just see the people walking right on. So that's gonna be really awesome, we'll see though. Oh yeah, if you can see people just walking in up there, this is definitely not gonna be a 30 minute wait. Let's see what time it is now. Uh, 5.18, so 5.18, we'll see how long it is. Seven minutes. I think I'll take that any day. And also, I want to go to the world famous Gold Dust Saloon. Look at this, the world famous Gold Dust Saloon. Pure wine, cigars, liquors, cold lager, always on hand, open day and night, rain or shine. Oh, clever. And here comes our train. Looks like we are going to be I be hardy, I be hardy, hardy, hardy. <laughs> We're gonna be riding the wildest ride in the wilderness during a hurricane warning. I like the sound of that. This here is a wild 
Thanks. Oh boy. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh! Ah! <laughs> today I say oh boy here we go what's beyond Big Thunder Mountain <laughs> Woo! <Whoa. laughs> Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, wow! That was definitely the perfect ride to go to. I feel so energized right now. Really get your heart pumping, you know? Really get you going. Is that a red card? Look at that. It's one of the old time cars for the pass, for the fast passes. That took up a lot of our time, so we gotta get moving along here. But I'm also thinking just because I can't stay here at the Magic Kingdom doesn't mean I can't park hop. So maybe we might actually park hop and go to a different park. I mean, I would stay here all night if it wasn't for the party. I'm doing the mad dash to get to another attraction. You guys know what I mean. You know about that dash where you just, because you can't run in the parks, but you can speed walk, you know? Speed walk, trying to get there, you know? I'm literally rushing over to Tomorrowland because there's one more ride I want to ride today before we're going to run out of time. And I only have five minutes. Five minutes to get to Tomorrowland. I'm like speed walking through the park and I just hear this song like I'm in a hurry to get things done oh why rushing rushing till life's no fun I hear that as I like that I'm like power walking you know and the last ride of the day is gonna be the Astro Orbiter I just thought it'd be cool to go really high up in the sky and look at all of the weather conditions it takes a while to actually load the queue for the Astro Orbiter because you have to go up in elevators. But it's really cool because on the inside you get to see the uh, inspection, like the elevator inspection. And the address is really awesome. So I can't wait to show you guys that. All right. Here we are, the elevator. Oh, you're going all the way up? Pushing it? Uh, I think we're going to two. Yep, there we go. You notice the address here too is uh, 1225 Monorail Way. Isn't that cool? Oh, that's sweet. Because that's a, cer a certificate of operation for Ready Creek for the elevator. <laughs> We've made it all the way up and it's starting to look very gloomy out. Like I think we're going to get hit with rain any second. So I'm happy I got the umbrella. All right, here we go. This is our rocket for the day. We're hopping in. I think it's starting to rain too, but I'm excited. <laughs> Look at isn't this so cool? Higher, go oh. back on the control lever in front of you. Look at my dogs. Descend, Look at my feet. <laughs> just push the control lever forward. Prepare for liftoff. Oh boy, prepare for liftoff. Listen to this music. Isn't it so All nice? All right, pilots, let's get ready in three, two, one. Blast off. Blast off. Oh. Well, look at this, look at this view. We gotta go all the way up. Look at the castle there. Woo! I made such a good decision by coming to this ride. I love it. <laughs> this is the best. Ooh, Tron is lighting up. Look at that, Tron's lighting up. 
You can see the contemporary. Wait till you see the castle over here too. Look at the castle. This is so nifty. They say the people mover is the best ride for people watching, but I really love this. Oh, this is amazing. Uh-oh, we're coming in hot. This is where it gets you. Oh, we're coming in fast. Love it. Look at how cool it is up here. I love being able to look down at all of the uh, people walking around Tomorrowland. You can see the people mover going. Cinderella Castle over there. It's so beautiful. Oh, and Tron's running right now, actually. You can see Tron Light Cycle actually running. All lit up blue. That's really fancy. I love that. I love the Astral Orbiter. And now we have to actually start making our way out. The park is officially closed and uh, they're going to start sweeping people out. I think we're going to hop over to Hollywood Studios though. It's a little bit rainy. I can feel a couple of raindrops, but I'm feeling good. I'm fe Look at when you're walking around Magic Kingdom flipping the umbrella like this. I'm feeling good like I should. You know, I feel great. <laughs> One last look at the Magic Kingdom though before we leave. Definitely getting a little rainy out. It's going to be a while. I mean, no one's going to be back here, I mean, from tonight. So this is going to be the last time you see the castle in daylight. This is going to be the last time people see the castle in like the daytime for probably, what, two days? You know, except for, you know, of course, cast members, they'll still be here. But uh, yeah, it's going to be closing down, closing down soon. Before I actually head on out, I was walking through the gift shops and I, you know, the best thing about the park closing early is they keep all the shops open. So whether or not you're here for the party, you can still do shopping. So I went to the Main Street Confectionery and look at this pumpkin Mickey Rice Krispie treat. I am so excited. I don't know if it's pumpkin flavored, but I got it instantly and I cannot wait to try it. I mean, I love pumpkin things and I love Mickey Rice Krispie treats. So combining those just, it's a must. Of course, in good tradition, you gotta go ears first, so. It's good. I don't taste the pumpkin, maybe because I hit the chocolate side, so I'm gonna eat it this way now. Hmm. I don't see a pumpkin there. <laughs> But it's still amazing, even though it doesn't taste like pumpkin. It still tastes like a classic Disney Rice Krispie treat. Look at the way I bit into that, too. It looks so funny now. It looks like a Frankenstein Mickey pumpkin. All right, enough of the Rice Krispie treat business. Now it's time to head on over to Hollywood Studios, and I cannot stop flipping my umbrella. I really can't stop flipping my umbrella. It's fancy. <laughs> I put in the GPS the fastest way to get to Hollywood Studios and it says route may be affected by Hurricane Ian. Isn't that funny? The route may be affected by Hurricane Ian. <laughs> that is so, oh look it even says it down here again. Hurricane Ian may affect your route. That's so funny. And there we go. We went from Magic Kingdom to Hollywood Studios all during a hurricane warning. I'm excited. We might actually stay here for a little bit grab a drink, ride a ride, and you know, why not? Maybe do Epcot. I mean, I'm just saying, mate, I'm just putting it out there, but you never know. I don't know if we can make that happen or not. It's funny though, because when we left Magic Kingdom, it was raining, and then when we get here, there's no rain. There's no, I mean, there's like, I felt one drop. Oh wait, maybe the rain is coming here, and I bet you Magic Kingdom's very rainy. Oh boy, I didn't bring my umbrella, I left it in the car. Let's take a look at the wait times here at Hollywood Studios. 45 minutes for Rise of the Resistance. 105 minutes for Tower of Terror, holy moly. 45 minutes though. Hi, how are ya? Good, good, enjoy the day. 45 minutes for Rise of the Resistance is not too bad, but 105 minutes for Tower of Terror? I feel like everyone wants to go ride that on a dark stormy night. After looking over the wait times, 105 minutes for Tower of Terror is absolutely ridiculous. But how cool would it be to ride that ride during a hurricane warning? I mean, we already rode the wildest ride in the wilderness, but Tower of Terror would be amazing. And the lowest wait time here is Toy Story Mania. So I think we're going to go ride Toy Story Midway Mania. I love walking through here at night. 
look at all the lights lit up and you have the ponchos and the rain and it looks like toy story midway mania it says 45 minutes but i don't think it is that can't be 45 minutes i'd love to ride slinky dog dash though that'd be amazing as i was saying i would love to ride slinky dog dash we noticed the wait time is lower than Toy Story Midway Mania. It's only a 25 minute wait for Slinky Dog Dash, so I think we're gonna go do that instead. This is definitely such a low wait time. Look at this, I remember waiting all the way over here. Like usually I am waiting over here, but this is not bad at all. I'm actually hanging out with my friends Bree and Skylar, and it's their first time riding Slinky Dog Dash. So excited. Are you excited? Yeah. Well, I think you're gonna like it a lot. Now, have you been here for MGM Studios? Have you ever been there? No. Yeah, this is exactly where that big MGM Studios water tower was. The one with the Mickey ears was right here, actually, where Slinky Dog's at. So it's kind of cool that you're here. Yeah. And did you know there's a Slinky Frog? A Slinky Frog? Yeah. There's a Slinky Frog. There's a Slinky Rabbit. A Slinky Cat. A Slinky Bird. A Slinky Snake. Look at there's a slinky snake. There's a lot of slinkies, but most importantly, the slinky dog. Whenever I ride slinky, I always have to do the back. Slinky is the best in the back. I mean, a lot of rides are good, like when you ride the front row, but this one, always the back. All right, here comes our slinky dog. I'm so excited, and I love riding in the back too. Right here, we got the little springy tail at the end. Perfect. I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep my hat on without flying off. I hope you're excited. First I'm timer. So excited. It is Slinky Dog, you know, first timer. It's so good. And at night. Bye. Slinky Dog Dash was amazing, and both Skylar and Bree both loved it. And it's so cool being able to ride rides with people that, like, it's their first time being able to experience it with them. And now I think we're gonna head over to Tower of Terror because it says it's only a 20 minute wait. And that is crazy because just a couple minutes ago it was 105 minutes, and now it's 20 minutes. Just to show you guys what it's like, here are the wait times. Slinky Dog Dash is still a 25 minute, which actually was under 20 minutes. Toy Story Mania is still 60 minutes, but I, I don't understand why. And hopefully it changes soon. I can show you Tower of Terror actually says 20 minutes, but it always takes forever. Oh, there it is, Tower of Terror, 25 minutes. Look at that, so let's go. I am beyond excited the fact that we get to ride Tower of Terror on the last night the parks are being open before the hurricane comes. Like I said, I mean, even in the beginning, they say one dark and stormy night. I think that's exactly the words. I don't know, I have to look it up, but this is a dark stormy night. That is so amazing because it wasn't even a 25 minute wait. We literally are just walking in right now. Like we got all the way up to the front door and I would say less than 10 minutes. Less than 10 minutes for Tower of Terror. 
What a perfect way to end the night. Honestly, I am so excited that we're riding the Tower of Terror before the parks close and a hurricane's coming in. See those hands. Thank you so much. Sorry for the strange, strange, weird thing. It's not haunted, right? It should be good. It should be good. Oh, oh, oh. That was probably the best way to end a night in the parks as they close down in preparations for a hurricane. Look at this. Look at it behind us. That's crazy. I loved it. I mean, the Tower of Terror is always a go-to, but I, you know, kind of don't want to call it a night. I feel like we've been on this roll so far. We've been to Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios. I did say I wanted to go to Epcot, but we've definitely missed that. So uh, maybe we'll head over to Disney Springs, grab a little dinner, maybe the boathouse, and uh, kind of, you know, just take it all in. Last second before the big storm comes. It's coming. And just like that, we are at Disney Springs. I guess when the world sends you a hurricane, you park hop and then make your way to Disney Springs for a late night dinner at the boathouse. I feel like that's the way the locals do it here. The Boathouse is one of my all-time favorite restaurants, so I'm very excited to come here and eat. And also, it stopped raining. Like, it was raining a lot at Magic Kingdom, then it was drizzling at Hollywood Studios, and now no rain. So I don't know what's going on, but we'll keep monitoring the weather and see what it's like. Look at how empty Disney Springs is, too. Wow. Normally, this is like really hopping right now, especially because there's a party tonight and a lot of people have nowhere else to go except for Disney Springs, but there's nobody down here. We got the whole place to ourselves, basically. Looks like there's a non-existent line for Gideon's. I mean, there's still like, I would say like 15 people in line, but that's nothing. Like, look at that. That's pretty crazy. I mean, normally people are waiting hours for those, you know? And here it is, the boathouse. Great food, waterfront dining, dream boats. Everything you need. And I think we're actually sitting in the fancy boat today. Look at this. Oh, we are actually. Oh, we are sitting in the fancy boat. Look at us. Hey guys, how are you? Wow, look at this. Wow, wow. Well, very fancy. This is really such a wild time. We're, I can't believe we're in the boat at the boathouse. I, the whole day has been absolutely amazing. And I don't know, I just kind of love it. Kind of love how the thing, the way things are going. Let's take a look at the menu here. You know, my go-to is always the filet sliders. And it's always a, actually an amazing deal because it's $16, you get two sliders, and you also get the uh, fresh cut french fries and you can upgrade them to the truffle fries that come with a lemon aioli but i don't know if i'm gonna go for that today i might want to switch things up might want to switch things up you know hey there he is look at it. the party's arrived <laughs> i love the uh, dinner rolls that they have here i grabbed a fork full so that i can grab it I do love the dinner rolls. It's like a dinner roll. Prove it. Up. It is. It's Prove real it. good. You think I can eat this in one bite? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't have a doubt. Oh my god, what the chose. Hey! Oh, he made that look like that was nothing. <laughs> that was amazing. Nice work, pal. Very, 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 very nice work, baby. <laughs> it's crazy thinking, like, look at us. Yeah. Yeah, hurricane's coming. We're hanging out on a boat. Hanging out on a boat. Cheers. 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 Hanging out on a boat. <laughs> And here is the food. We got coconut shrimp. Look at this. I love the coconut shrimp here. And then also the go-to filet sliders with the truffle fries. I'm so excited. This is a beautiful meal right now. And also they sent us out some more rolls and they gave us some cinnamon butter and said it's the boathouse hack. And I love it. This is a hack. It's almost like Texas Roadhouse rolls. And you guys know how much I care about the Texas Roadhouse rolls. 
This coconut shrimp is one of the best coconut shrimps I've ever had. Honestly, I literally left here before dreaming about them. They are so good. It's so hard sometimes when I want to show you guys the food, but at the same time, it's so good. I just want to eat it so fast. But this shrimp is just so phenomenal. And now it's time to get to the main event. The sliders, the filet sliders. I'm sure you guys seen me eat these probably a hundred times, but they're always amazing each time. And for $16, you cannot go wrong with these. It's literally just a great deal. Well, the boathouse was a great decision. Those filet sliders are fantastic. And the uh, coconut shrimp, it's literally some of the best coconut shrimp I've ever had. Now it's time to make our way home. Gotta check on Gracie and then we're gonna call it a night. We're gonna get all settled in and start getting prepared. The hurricane's coming. Look at this as we're leaving the boathouse. Disney Springs is empty, closing down. You wanna grab some gelato? Still open in there. Some Gideons. Oh yeah, I wonder if we can get in Gideons. Oh, you know what? Let's not worry about that. Let's just get home. <laughs> Raglan Road got rid of all of their outdoor furniture because of the approaching storm. Isn't that so crazy? And they even moved the bench of the man. Look at it. They moved the bench of the man that usually is out here. They moved it in there. That's so crazy. This just shows you how much they're preparing for Hurricane Ian right here. I mean, they got rid of everything here. Some more preparation right here. They're actually taking all the stuff inside at uh, homecoming too. Look at it. They're not, I mean, they're, they're doing a good job. They're not messing around. Also, take a look at this. We've got sandbags actually blocking the doorways here at the Coke store. Like I said, they're really pulling out all the stops here. Very prepared. There she is! Gracie girl! You want a treat? Huh? You want a cookie? Let's see. Why? What, you excited? Huh? Little cookie? Yes? Okay, here it goes. Oh! <laughs> Excellent. Oh, there she goes. And with that, I think we are done here today. I had a lot of fun. Now it's time to hunker down here at the apartment. Me and Gracie are going to be fine. We've got some water. We got some soup. We got all the necessities we need. And I hope everyone stays safe out there. Anyone that's in Tampa, you know, please make sure you guys get everything you need situated. I'm really afraid of for a lot of my friends out there. And I uh, hope we can just get through this storm safe. I hope everyone doesn't get affected too much by it. And uh, yeah, two days, parks will open back up and uh, I hope everything goes well. I'm really praying for people out there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. I wanna show you guys this gigantic moth. Hold on, I gotta show you this mouth. Well, I'll show you at the end of the video. But, we'll see you next time. Bye. I noticed this guy right above my door. Look at this. I've never seen a mouth this big before. Let me try to, should we wake him up? You ever see a mouth like that before? Let me get a little closer to him. It's a big moth, ain't it?